Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I am still at Groves Point. This is my second flight today. Uh, you would have seen the Skydio video before this one. And now I have the Femi X8 SE 2022. Um, I just got an update yesterday, but uh, Gorilla Man's Garage, I guess, I, I think he's trying to... Uh, tell me that he had this update maybe a few days ago or something uh, hasn't said exactly when but uh, he's telling me that he has this update and I just got it yesterday but I've been checking this drone every couple of days and uh, I've I never got any updates until yesterday and it is uh, I'll tell you guys what it is when I kick the drone up but uh, I've been having this issue with Femi and especially on my iPhone if I use the iPhone with this drone I do not get updates whatsoever none it will not update through through my iPhone 10 it just doesn't bring them up for some reason not sure why if uh, Femi isn't putting them out for iOS and only uh, Android I'm not sure guys but I uh, use the Android phone yesterday, my Samsung A70, and bang, away came that uh, update while I was out flying the drone, so I decided to save it until I got home before I put that update on. But here we are today for the test flight of that, and uh, I actually 3D printed a piece I wanted to show you guys. And if you want to print this for yours, you can find the file for it on Thingiverse. Just type in Femi X8 SE and everything that's printed available for that drone will pop up. But this is a sunshade, guys, and hopefully it will eliminate that sun flare we were getting where it looks like, you know, jittery and props going through the, the view. You guys can see how much it covers. It hangs out over the camera, the front of the drone. It clips on to both front arms and it's pretty sturdy. It won't come off. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to step ahead here, start this drone up and we'll get this flight on the way and see what happens. Um, I don't think we're going to see any sun flare today anyway, though, because the sun has now gone beyond all of the clouds. It's starting to cloud over. It's possibly going to rain, but we're going to have a flight anyway and uh, hopefully it works out good. So I'll catch you right back, guys. Okay. This is an issue I'm getting, guys, is a disconnection. And I usually have to unplug the cable and plug it back in. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries, but it uh, actually worked first try today. So format the SD card. I flew this yesterday down our local harbor and boy was it windy, but uh, it was almost to the point that the drone couldn't handle. I had a little bit of a hard time getting the drone back to me, but uh, it made it in sport mode. So it's a pretty uh, powerful drone, guys. Okay, I believe we're ready. Turn video on. We're going to check our settings here, our camera settings. 4K30, we'll turn the video quality on high. And we're going to put the white balance on a cloudy day. Because it's pretty clouding over now. There we go. Um, somebody mentioned to me, guys, that the... Sorry about that, there's some kind of construction going on. That the color is very yellowish in this drone, and I find it is myself. So hopefully Femi plays around with the colors on this and corrects it. There's a lot of yellow into it. I'll actually see what I can do in uh, post-editing to try and correct the color. Okay, so we're ready. Let's start recording. And hit auto takeoff. We have 11 satellites, that's the most I can get right here. <clears throat> you guys seen how long the drone has been sitting there. I actually lost 2% on the battery waiting for it. 
I've got a slight little toilet bowl going on. And it's just about correcting itself now. Starting to. So we'll give that a minute here. I got 12 satellites now. Uh, the drone is stable. Okay, guys, let's, uh, let's put the camera down a little. And we'll head up and out. See how this horizon is. It, it looks a lot better. So new firmware is uh, flight controller. I'm going to stop here and tell you guys I forgot to do that. So the firmware we're on now is 3002E for the flight control. Tell me compass interfered. Uh, we're on camera 3014A. It's been like that for quite some time. There hasn't been an update on the camera. Femi hasn't really been touching this drone much, guys. And it's a shame because I'm waiting for them to fix a few things in this. One being that horizon tilt. Now, they wanted me to send this drone back, but I said no. Because I don't feel like paying a couple of hundred dollars again. And uh, being sent back a drone that doesn't work. Because that's already happened to me. We're almost at max altitude, but uh, we are uh, still climbing up that hill so we can gain some more altitude. Okay, it's telling me max altitude, but we're not at 400 feet. So I'll show you guys if I turn around here. You guys see me down there. Down by those two buildings, that's 400 feet from the ground up to where the drone is now. But it's no 400 feet up where that drone is sitting right now. So I'm not going to go any further up. We're about 500 meters out now. I don't have my strobe light on the drone, so let's do some quick movements. I can see the camera seeing that uh, sunshade as the uh, drone is turning very fast. So that's all you guys were seeing there. It's not props. You will never see props again, guys, with that on it. The drone is coming back pretty quick. That horizon looks, uh, yeah, it looks pretty straight. It may be slightly, slightly off, but very hard to tell. Do some quick turning here and see if it goes off. There, you could see that uh, sunshade in the view for a second there, guys. The horizon is holding, but I also have that filter on with the 3D printed filter holder. Actually, it might be just a little shade off, but no, it's, uh, it's bang on. I'm facing the, uh, the opening in the, uh, the channel up there and I've got my grid lines on and it's bang on. So not bad, not bad. This is how I will fly it for now on. So I can keep a level horizon on it. I'm pretty much right above me guys. I'm gonna head out over that park and I'm gonna spin the camera around here so we can keep that drone 
ahead of us in view. Man, that's a fast drone. Very fast drone. Let's see what I have my speed set at, guys. We're at 16 meters a second. Now we turn sport mode on, I get an extra two. So it'll go to 18. Um, I think I read that that new Mavic Mini 3 is going to have a speed of 16 meters per second. If that's so, it's a pretty fast little drone. Just like this here. So that's the park, guys. That's the picnic park. That's about the end of it right here. The last beach you can go down park at to swim. Yeah, that's the end of it. If you walk any further, it's kind of like swampy land. Pick the camera up and we'll fly over the park. There's nobody in us. There you go, guys. It looks like Horizon is off here now. No, I think it's off a little tiny bit. But keep in mind that it will correct itself, too. That gimbal will slowly turn back, but I find it takes a bit of time. Yeah, it's starting to level out. It's good now. We're level. So that's the only thing. I wish Vimy would fix this. It's it's not good. I find they always have a crooked horizon. Except for my Mini. That uh, I haven't noticed a crooked horizon on that drone. So we're down to 66% battery. I'm going to fly up around the point over here, then we're going to bring it back. I actually want to get a thumbnail while I'm up there, guys, so once I reach that corner, we'll end this video here. So this is supposedly a new flight control, but uh, I don't really notice any difference. It's still quite touchy to make your turns still quite touchy that's about as far as I'm going guys okay we're gonna end this video here I hope you enjoyed today's flight if you're new to the channel please subscribe leave a like leave a comment make sure the notifications are on guys so you don't miss our videos and catch you in the next one peace out